Hello Star Wars action figure fans and collectors, welcome to a brand new Star Wars Legacy Collection action figure review. For today's Legacy Collection action figure review, I have the concept art Snow Trooper, uh, based on concept art from Joe Johnston. So, um, he's not, well I wouldn't say he's really hard to find because I've seen this figure a bunch of times, but he's still pretty, I guess it depends on your area, he could still be pretty hard to find. But I definitely like this figure. I picked it up. I'm a huge fan of the console figures that were released in the 30th anniversary collection, the Ralph McQuarrie figures, and this one is no exception. Um, I really like concept art figures too, for the Star Wars uh, line at least. Um, they have pretty cool designs. And anyway, here's the front of the packaging. Got a nice close up of the helmet of this Snow Trooper, which looks very similar, very uh, heavily inspired from Samurai Warriors, as it, it does also say in the back of the card. And it says, um, yeah, right here, concept art on the bottom. And uh, it still has a tag of 746. I did purchase this um, when the figures were still 746 and not six dollars. So, but that's okay. And of course, you've got the Qui-Gon Jinn and EOP mail away uh, sticker, which unfortunately has is now expired since it did expire on March 31st, right there. And let's see. So that's pretty much it for the front and for the back. We've got a nice still image here of the figure holding the blaster and some nice concept artwork right there and of course uh, the at, at driver the or the AT, AT driver however you not, like to call him Cloud City Wing Guard unfortunately the the only Cloud City Wing Guard available right now is the um, the darker skinned version and Luke Skywalker which I do have in uh, the hot speeder pilot gear and also this co this also of course comes with the right leg for HK50 right there as seen there okay and so it says here in the back let me read the back of the card it says here in this concept art by Joe Johnston the Imperial snowtroopers wear wears armor with features that are reminiscent of armor historically worn by samurai warriors the gear has stylized elegance while still protecting the trooper from blaster fire and extreme cold so very very cool and just check out that cool concept art and just the look of this, the helmet and the, the figure, the, the character, it just looks awesome. So, with that said, let me open up the figure for the review. So, using my scissors here, be careful. here. Qui-Gon Jinn and EOP certificate, not good anymore, in the little pamphlet. Of course, you got the Dova Joy piece right there. I'm not going to really take care of that. So you guys know, already know what that is. I will just cut the plastic bands on the back. And now the figure's ready. So, this concept Snow Trooper comes with a backpack. Let me just take off the elastic bands here. Okay, so this does come with a backpack with some kind of, looks like a tank of some sort of maybe breathing apparatus for extreme cold. It's hard to breathe, so it's a little peg there, peg hole. I'm gonna plug it in right there and it fits nice and snug. Really cool. So let me just go over the articulation. This concept snow trooper does have a ball jointed neck right there, uh, ball hinge shoulders ball hinged elbows, swivel wrists, and swivel waist, and uh, swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and of course, ball hinged ankles. So very, very good articulation. Um, unfortunately, his cloth skirt is restricting his movement, but there is detail on his um, on the trousers, on the pants. There's some nice detail there, and some paint. Very, very cool. And. Uh, he does come with a blaster, which looks interesting. He, he does have a holster here, which you can fit the blaster in. And uh, it's a really cool figure. I really like the color. I like the design. I love the design. 
um, very very samurai looking. And uh, I love the boots as well. The boots have like spikes on them, have silver spikes. Hopefully the camera focuses a bit. So a very very well done figure. A really nice concept figure. So definitely worth picking up. I uh, really love the design. Love the color. The little red spike there on top. It'd be kind of cool to uh, troop build a few of these guys and make them commanders of some sort. Make them like snowtrooper commanders or like special artillery or whatever. Special operations snowtroopers or for cold weather um, operations. So again, this is a very, very cool uh, figure. I love the design, love the color. Um, and this definitely is highly recommended. Um, I would definitely give him a solid rating, five, solid 5 out of 5 um, Stormtrooper helmets. Um, he's perfect. I love the figure. I think I want to get more now. Um, looks absolutely cool. And in commemoration of the 30th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back, it's just great. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, click on the like button. So um, pick this figure up. I think it's great. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, may the force be with you. Bye.